In the January 6th investigation, no public hearings until next week, but this was a pivotal day for the committee. Former White House counsel Pat Cipollone has agreed to testify. Today he appeared under subpoena behind closed doors after the committee repeatedly failed at their efforts to get him involuntarily. NBC's Susan McGinnis explains why the testimony is seen as key to the investigation. Pat Cipollone, White House counsel under Donald Trump, appearing in person but behind closed doors today to testify before the January 6th committee, refusing to appear voluntarily, now under oath and under subpoena. Pat Cipollone was perfectly comfortable letting these hearings go by without testifying until pressure became too much. A reluctant witness who could invoke executive privilege. There's a bunch of things that Mr. Cipollone could tell the committee that aren't privileged. Cipollone called to appear shortly after explosive testimony from White House aide Cassidy Hutchinson, who relayed Cipollone's warning about Trump demanding he be driven to the Capitol January 6th. Mr. C Cipollone said something to the effect of, please make sure we don't go up to the Capitol, Cassidy. Keep in touch with me. We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable if we make that movement happen. The committee looking to Cipollone to corroborate Hutchinson and likely asking about his threats to resign over the White House's false claims of election fraud. And if he warned Trump directly about legal consequences for not stopping the riot. Hutchinson referencing Cipollone's comments to Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Mark, something needs to be done or people are going to die and the blood's going to be on your effing hands. This is getting out of control. I'm going down there. The committee hoping a once strong Trump defender will be a key witness against him. In Washington, Susan McGinnis, NBC News. And Cipollone's testimony is on videotape for the committee to potentially use in an upcoming hearing. The next one is coming up on Tuesday at 8 a.m. Mountain Time.